ladies and gentlemen, hello to you, the seasoned few. You know exactly what we came here to do. RPG style character progression, fantasy sports style betting, and the most electrifying four corners known to man. That's right, baby. Pro wrestling. We're here in the war room. That's right. That's the name of the arena. Everything's been taking place. Thanks to the faction wars, lives have been lost. The bullies are out. Demon Suzuki gone. Farmer gone. Max Maximus and Ducky each taking a life apiece from each other. Now down to two. I'm telling you, these guys are down to two lives. How crazy will this be? I'll tell you how crazy it'll be. Even more crazy than you can think. That's a little bit of foreshadowing if you've ever seen it. He's huge. He's taking some form of serum. He's taking some form of anabolic enhancement that has made him almost twice the size. Half Half as strong as a Mack truck or maybe even just as strong. We're going to find out what he has to say tonight after everything that's gone on. Is he still in his right mind? Is he still under his own control? Does, does, does the Joker have complete control of him? Is he still thinking for his own? We're going to find out. Right here, right now, in the four corner solo season universe. Hit that three punch combo, man. If you don't know what that is, like, share, comment. That's a. Uh, you can subscribe if you haven't or hit the notifications. That's a four or five punch combo right there for you, man. Keep those punches coming. Here we go. Head to the ring. Right now, Ducky. Look at him. He's completely different. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it says quack, quack, quack on it. This guy is a complete psycho now. It looks like he's completely lost it. It doesn't look like he has any idea of what he wants or where he... Oh, wait a minute. You know, uh, I feel pretty bad for you people in the Solo Season Universe. You all have given me a career. You've given me a purpose. You've given me something, given me something to fight for every day and every night. When I come out here, that's what I try and do. But not every superstar, not every talent has the same respect for you as I do. That's exactly why I did what I did. I made myself better for you, the season few. And I want to talk about a certain superstar. You know who I'm talking about. This guy must have been born on a highway because that's where most accidents happen. There's nothing about him that's championship or talented. It, it's only it's only the fact that you ladies love him that he's even here. Max, come out here so I can teach you a few things about respect. If you don't want to listen, well, then I'll just have to beat some respect into you. Quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, man, I can't believe it. Ducky's completely lost his mind. And it looks like Max might come out here to straighten it out. Maybe he'll help him find it. You can see he's in that outfit. He must have went to, like, Arkham Asylum or something and was put away for such a long time. Oh, and here's Max with, you know, speaking of crazy. Oh, man, speaking of crazy. Oh, 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 man. Speaking of crazy. Max Maximus, the ladies' man, the sex machine. Coming out tonight. Let's see what he's got to say. In response to the new Mighty Duck. Oh my gosh, I don't think the duck can take it. I don't know if he can take this kind of showboating. Will he snap even further? Sheehy, what a surprise. Once again, I find myself in the presence of a throng of idiots where I'm forced to perform against some moron way below my level. And in return for this, I'll be overlooked and 
buried at the bottom of the roster yet again. Thanks a bunch. Mighty Duck? Is that what you're calling yourself now? Hey, 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 do you think you can get under my skin by coming out here? Well, you're right. It takes me off and makes me angry, which is exactly what I want. Anger will fuel me. Anger is what gives me the energy. Anger is what gives me the strength to take out talents like you and prove my point. Ha! Huh, this, this is it? You're the guy I've heard so much about? You're the guy that I'm supposed to be afraid of? Hey man, with all due respect, I've seen you up close and personal, and I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. I'm not, oh God, dude, Max Maximus, the usual taunting, the childish taunting. Uh, if I ever find myself, trying to impress someone like you. I'll leave the business forever. I'd rather starve than have to care about what you think of me. Right now, I brought you out here for one reason and one reason only. My body is 10 times stronger than it's ever been. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You dug yourself a pretty deep hole, my friend. The sad thing is you don't even realize that you've actually dug your own grave. I almost feel sorry for you. Almost. But not really. I feel more sorry for you, the season few, having to listen to this babble, this, this crazy man. What are you waiting for? A formal invitation? If you want a match, I've got no problem giving you one, but let me tell you this. You're gonna wish you never got in the way because I'm gonna make you regret everything that's led up to this moment. Everything you've done will be put on your neck 12-fold. Damn it, I won't be denied. I won't get... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna snap too, damn it. La 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 la. Someone hold me back before I break this man in half. La 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 la. I'm going crazy too. I'm going crazy too. Man, you're nothing to me. The mighty duck. I'm nothing to you? I'm nothing to you? Oh! Oh my god, no! The Mighty Duck did snap! He did snap! And these guys are gonna go at it right here! Look how much bigger he is! Oh my god, whatever happened, it must be the same serum, the venom. Oh no, that's exactly what it is. If you look at the mass, you can tell it's the same kind of distribution. He maybe doesn't feel pain anymore. You can see he's just throwing his body to the wind. Oh no, but Max Maximus still having some good, uh... Oh no, as I speak, the commentator's curse, and speaking of curses, oh no, he's gonna put it right on his throat, just like he said. He said it too. He said he was gonna do it. He said he was gonna put all the pressure, all the past damage, all the drama between these two. You gotta love it, bro. Yo, oh, I absolutely love Making it. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by the queen, <coughs> Lauren oh, man. And from the other side of darkness, Breeze. Once again, thanks to some pants she bought in real life. That's the RPG style character progression we talked about at the beginning here. Thanks to something she did in real life. Now her character's changed completely. Is it a good or bad thing? She lost the belt thanks to it, but will she be able to get it back? I absolutely love the fact that she's got more charisma, if you will. <laughs> That's a little foreshadowing again if you've ever seen it. That's right, baby. Hey, shout out to everybody who knows my real rap career, Jay Solo. We're going to the Bronx tomorrow, man. By the time this loads, I'll be in the Bronx rapping my ass off. So I hope you guys get in the comment section, you know, 
they tell me good luck, you and know, five Rome. points to anybody who tells me good luck. From Transylvania, Romania. Yeah. But again, going the to the Bronx. Universal team, but right now. Women's champion, Kushida, champion. That's right, the champion. Charisma, Ashley J. I'll tell you now, she is definitely a threat, even to any male. The best date ever. You see it, Max Maximus. Now, men love men. Men love charisma. Is that a funny one? No, it doesn't work as good. But I'm telling you right now, this girl, she definitely, I love her style. The way she puts it on the competitors, like she reverses, throws her special, the spear, that amazing, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. It looks like the commentator's curse didn't strike too well right there. Definitely. Starting off with an amazing move, as I was saying, and uh, oh, Reba coming back, championship level fight for sure. Both of these women tasting gold, totally, total, no doubt about it. Both of these ladies are championship caliber. Oh, here we go, jaw breaker, mm. and there's nothing sweet about that one. Oh, taste the boot. Taste the boot as like, taste the leather, taste my shoe. Everything about this match is gonna be gruesome right now. She's taking her for a quick walk. Oh, as she reaches the ropes. Charisma gains kind of her consciousness. Oh, working that corner again, she's so good at this. Oh no, but it looks like Reeves still has her wits about her. And a oh, toss over, suplex. Toss over suplex to get something going. It looks like she ragdolled her with that. And yeah, she did. She definitely damaged her. You can tell she saw something in that move that we didn't. Oh, there's the quick pickup. The queen of strong style right now is throwing down in the best of ways. Is it going to be, oh man, dragging her back to the center of the ring every single time she does a move. Oh! Oh, 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 she's really not giving a damn right now. She's making sure she does more damage with every move she completes. But right now, Charisma, now again, you have to be careful with her ability to reverse, her ability to combo up punches and kicks and damn near everything that she does is so fluent. Oh man, Reeves right there. Can she grab the ropes? Oh, the referee. Oh, I don't think the referee got to see the ropes. I think he was on the far side there. So Reeves has to free herself. Man, but did she exert too much energy doing it? There is that classic, there is that classic style of charisma trying to get the season few behind her now. Reva learning her lesson, Reeves learning her lesson that you have to get the season few behind you. So you've seen her, she changed outfits. She tried to be a little bit more flashy. And right now, will it work out for her? Can she get away from the threat? <clears throat> that is charisma. The solo season ladies champion. Did she make a huge mistake? Right now, kicking up at one. It looks like she may have made a mistake. Oh, that stretch is Reeves going to tap now. It looks like she's trying to get out. She is. She, she works that right arm underneath. Oh, she went for the spear in Reeves after training with Shinsuke Nakamura. Learns how to get the knee up on the spear. She learned how to get the knee up. Oh, no. Was that enough? Was that enough? Once again, dragging her to the center of the universe. You can see the representation of her planet, the black scorpion planet right there, the green goat, red lion, and white mermaid. Right now, mm, taking a shot to the back is Charisma. Looks like she might not have enough, but again, Reeves trying to get her to that corner. She does this time, but she's playing a bit of possum. She plays a bit of possum and gives her her own suplex and says it's not a big deal, baby. It's not a big deal. Oh, and slides out just in the nick of time. Oh, using those knees, man, in perfect. Oh, 
Man, you know, she was always good at kicking. Before the outfit changed, those boots were made for kicking, and that's just what they did. But right now, she's got new kick pads. She's got... Oh! Did you... Poor... Whoever... Oh, wow, I've never seen that before. Double chop to the lower abdomen. What is she doing? Oh, no, the referee's at five, and it looks like she's still going to want to do some damage out on the outside. Does she understand? Oh, there it is. There's her chance to run in, and she does. Coming in on the moon side, she's lining up something fierce. She's lining up something fierce, and it looks like it might land. Oh, she kind of stole. That's crazy. One, two, three. Reach is the winner. Wow, Enziguri kick. This, oh, I mean, it was the shit. Man, I can't say it. Shikshinshkasa, the Kinshasa, Kinshasa. The Kinshasa is, I swear it's what it's called. I swear to you, that was insane. So it's like an Enziguri kick, the same way that Charisma beat Reeves for the belt. She adapted that move and then some more to now defeat her tonight. Oh, what a good back and forth battle, I tell you what. I'm absolutely excited for whatever comes next. That was bad. She loves that move there. Oh, there's Reeves giving the season view exactly what we want. A good show. That's what she learned from Shinsuke. And there it is, the start of the finish. See, she does it a little faster. Instead of taking those two or three steps back, and, you know, she was always quick on her feet. One, two, three. Japanese referee. Count it out. Here is your winner, Reeves. You gotta love it. Solo Season Universe, man. That's where we're at tonight. I don't know how you found me, but I am happy you did. At the same time, Anthony Islander, a good friend of mine from Washington State, actually came through and said I should make a cruiserweight belt, and so I did. And unfortunately, he he couldn't hold on to it for very long, thanks to Blaze jumping off the six-man elimination chamber pod and... I mean, and again, guys, this is all AI. I don't control this. So when something happens, it's so unexpected. Humble Among jumping through that ladder. It, there's just been so much drama. That's has, the, the fights are fake, but the drama is real. Everybody in the comment section makes it happen. So I really appreciate you guys for real. The season few. Making it fucking happen, man. Every day I wake up so happy to do these videos. You see worlds uh, rotating there. That's Earth 2. We're on Earth 1. There's such a good backstory. You got to go check that out in the Discord. But right now, we're going to go check out the four corners. Oh, my God. Anthony sneaking behind my dude. Please, and taking him out. This is not going to end well, ladies and gentlemen. Blaze looks rattled still. No, no, no effing way. Thanks to the Solo Season Universal Champion, Bryce Payne. You can see the whole arena changed. The whole arena changed. Now, it's funny because when Mike Campbell had the belt, it didn't really change much. Or did it? If you guys remember, it did change, didn't it? So let's see how much effect the Solo Season Universal title really does have, even on someone who has the belt. Jay Blaze, all of a sudden, going out of character, bumping, in, uh, you know, a, a grandma, a grandmother. The CEO of the Solo Season Universe completely going out of character and, and, and physically contacting her. It was insane. Maybe it really is the Solo Season Universal title influencing our talents. Maybe that's the boost. Maybe, just maybe. As you can see ringside there, when Jay Savage had the belt, it was just bricks. It was just bricks, you know, the, the war and everything was cool, things changed a little bit from time to time with him. But now, 
look, it's getting darker and darker. As we go along, the, the lights have changed. The lights have gone dark, thanks to Max Maximus and Ducky. And now Ducky's changed, and he's gone dark. The ringside's changed. Everything has changed, thanks to the man Bryce Payne summoning those demons and earning the belt right now. Anthony Islander also under that spell, coming out from the back and coming through the crowd. And using that to gain an advantage here over Blaze tonight, who still seems to have it going. Will he be able to capitalize? He does. Now that's championship level caliber again. He has his own dark past. He's already been to the dark side of this planet and other planets before. So as he takes those crazy DMT trips, those crazy you know, no one likes to talk about it, but it's the truth. He's a drug user, but look at him. He's flying through the air as if he's not even from this planet. Maybe he knows something we don't. And as he seeks victory, he may find it right there in the Swanton Bomb. Anthony Islander kicks out at two. That dark side of blades showing tonight mm, as he uses a bit of torture here. will anthony give up realizing that blades is not going to quit punishing his body and it looks like he's gonna keep working that arm gonna keep torturing anthony until he decides to say i quit solo season ufo champion the unidentified flying object, Blaze. Oh, oh, oh. Now, of course, the UFO belt also gives you a boost. Now, I don't think I have to tell you what that boost is. No doubt about it. The UFO belt gives you a 100% boost to aerial attacks and aerial range. That's right, guys. Can you believe it? Springboards, all that, have been enhanced for my man Blaze. But it's kind of funny because we've never actually seen him do any major springboard moves. He kind of sets it up, but maybe he's just not in his repertoire. But I'll tell you what, his swanton bomb is lethal. But when we talk about lethal and lethality, look at those kicks my man Anthony Islander just put on my homie. Oh! He's got to back out. That He does that so much better than anybody. Him and Blaze have very similar styles. And as I speak, Anthony Islander screaming at the Japanese referee. Japanese referee letting him know who's really in charge. Oh, speaking of in charge, that was some huge payback. These guys are insane. Will he be able to complete? Oh, Blaze keeping up. Oh, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He goes up top again. Bro, he's going to destroy his body if he doesn't land this. No, he's going to do it. Oh, <gasps> the moon soul. Nobody does it better. And it looks like he's going to have to go for the pin right now. His body is injured, no doubt about it. You can tell he's injured. You can tell he just won that match. Respectful guy, but has a tendency to snap. And it looks like the Joker used that. The Joker used that. Will Batman have something to say about that later on? Will Batman come and save the day? Or is Ducky lost forever? Now the mighty duck. Oh no. And it's all thanks to this man here. It's all thanks to this man here, the solo season universal champion, Bryce Payne. He's changed everything. There's not as many lights. Everything's dark. You can see the graveyard ringside. You see the caskets, the body bag, the stretcher, everyone on standby, thanks to this man here, making, making the whole universe the dark Lord. and demon filled. At 321 the devil rides the prestigious with Bryce Payne. Heavyweight champion, champion Bryce Payne, the devil. I can't believe it. The devil rides with Bryce Payne. And see, I knew it. 
Check the fan fiction in the Discord. You've seen him. He made a deal after he defeated the devil and the Undertaker coming in the dead man. And you see he comes in and summons it. Oh, as he summons it with the belt. As he summons it with the belt. You can see why everything changes. Whoever has possession of that belt doesn't just get a boost in stats, but it changes everything. It changes everything. They basically have control of the universe. That's why it's the most prestigious belt. Things change thanks to whoever holds that belt. The interplanetary belt gives everyone from a specific planet a boost. And the UFO champion gives a specific talent 100% aerial. But that Solar City Universal title, very important. Very important. To not just changing your home world, but to changing everything and his tag team partner right now also a wild man himself his way to oh the that's ring. right he's the money in the bank holder <gasps> so the solo is a universal champion he is and mr money in the bank k smoke that's right hey talk about keeping your friends close and keeping your enemies closer bryce payne and case smoke the drama's real briefcase holder oh man the drama is absolutely real what are these two coming out here together for maybe just maybe ducky is gonna have to watch out the interplanetary champion better watch out or maybe the hybrid heavyweight champion blaze who also has his hands full with the hooligan what is going on here or will he turn his back on bryce Payne? oh there he is guys and it's bruce lee San Francisco, give him his love weighing in at 130 pounds Bruce Give Lee him his love Lee. right now. Bruce Lee, the father of mixed martial arts, if you believe in that story. Now, here in the Solo Season universe, the original two to hit this planet would be El Jefe and Jay Savage. Max Maximus, Buddha Bomb, you know, these are early pioneers of the game here, but right now, from Earth One, a legend in his own right, a man who is an actor, an activist. In all honesty, he's like the Asian Martin Luther King. He really brought cultures together that really shouldn't have through something that they shouldn't have. American politics, keeping down the African-American man, and of course, martial arts and Westerners, Eastern philosophy and Western philosophy mixing through martial arts. That is a huge debt we owe to Bruce Lee, for sure. <coughs> also an actor, also an activist, died way too soon. Brandon Lee coming in the form of one of the most darkest characters known to 90s cinema. Thanks to Bryce Payne, I'm telling you, man. It's just getting worse and worse. Oh, oh it's the crow. Brandon Lee coming in the from Detroit, Michigan. most frightening Weighing form you could possibly 211 do. pounds, Eric Draven. What will this mean? A character with no fear. A character with no feeling. Against a character with no fear, no feeling. It's going to be crazy. Him and Bryce Payne face to face. Definitely something I want to see happen. There's already a few caskets. There's already a few body bags. There's already everything we need 
if something horrible happens. Now, I'm not promoting it. I'm just saying, with these two in the ring, we can only expect death, destruction, and complete mayhem. Don't let the calm fool you. Don't let the calm fool you like the old added is uh, like the old saying goes the calm before the storm for sure eight man elimination tag match tonight what will happen how many will be injured how many will survive it's going to be crazy once the team loses the talent you know what will they choose to do Will they run? Will they grab a weapon? Is that even legal tonight? I don't know. We're going to have to check the rules on that. I don't know. Honestly, like, I don't know. Oh, Goku and Vegeta coming out together, the Z Fighters. Eight pound gold cube and VG Todd. Goku and Vegeta, I'm excited for this, man. I don't even care. Anime characters from my heart. Poor Vegeta. I don't I don't like Super Saiyan Vegeta. I feel like once he became a good guy, he was never gonna be anything other than second best. I love the fact that he married Bulma, became the strongest person ever. He's like the Elon Musk of uh, of Earthlings, you know, of Earth, you know, of his Earth, whatever you want to call that Earth, with the Earth 3. Goku and them from Earth 3. Hit the Discord, man. Should we make different worlds for their backstories, too? But they already have their own backstory. You know? We have our own. Here at the Scorpion Planet, Red Lion, Green Goat, White Mermaid. Where are you from? Do you even know where your character's from? Oh, have you went to the Discord and said anything about where your character's from? Most people already know because it's on their shirt. Here we go. This is gonna be the best. Who is this? Wait a minute. Who is this? Oh, oh my God! No way! Yeah. And at a it is weight, violent, Jay. Sixty-nine pounds. And Joey Shaggy and too dope. Jay. I no can't family. believe these guys, man. The family. Whoop, whoop. ICP in the building. Damn. <laughs> Tell me. I, I didn't even know that they. I forgot, bro. I'm telling you, like, there's so much that goes on that I get so excited about this and forget. Because there's so much customization that I do in a day. I try to make new outfits, new storylines, new videos. Like, there's so much that goes on that I totally forget. <laughs> that, I gave these guys a sick entrance. Let's go. ICP, the family. Woo, woo. Giving it up tonight, man. What is a juggalo? <laughs> right there. That's a juggalo. That's a juggalo. Where are my juggalos at? They're looking for them. They're looking for the juggalos out there. Looking for some homies. This is definitely awesome. Shout out that guy right there. And here we go. Eight man, two, four, six, eight man in the ring. Oh, wow. And the crow decides to go after Shaggy Tudo. Oh man, this is like one of those YouTube videos, one of those crazy Russian YouTube fight videos. And it looks like Goku starting off early with some big moves, man. Oh no, but it looks like K-Smoke catches him slipping, but did he really? Oh man, I gotta move on to the champion there, Bryce Payne, catching a serious clothesline from my man, Violent J. There's no way that he's gonna take too much more damage. Oh, damn, as I say that though, Island J starts, oh yeah, I knew it. The champion not wanting to take too much, like, 
He's not one to take too much grief, man. That guy Bryce Payne, if you give him any kind of damage, just prepare for it to come back on you tenfold. But speaking of Payne coming back on you, it was Ducky tonight saying that he's going to put everything that Max Maximus has done to him on his throat tenfold. The weight of all the trauma Max has caused Ducky. He says he's going to put it on his throat 12 foot. And look at that. Violent J getting people free points. Getting the family. Getting the homies some free points. It's my comment 10 in the comment section below. And get your character a free one point boost. Now honestly, what's up with that? Violet J has been wrecking the ch Oh, Vegeta now getting some damage done to him. And it looks like the crow is gonna... He is, he's gonna use the side of the ring to destroy Goku. Shaggy, Shaggy too dope trying to fight off K-Smoke over there. And it looks like he's got it, bro. That is, this is gonna be crazy. False count anywhere, it is. It's a false count anywhere match. What the hell? This, I'm telling you, man, I'm, I forgot I created this match and forgot what rules I made. It was an elimination tag match, but yeah, that's right. It's a false count anywhere. These guys are going to be able to take it anywhere. What happens if they go in the back? Will it go split screen? Oh, Goku hitting that combo. That might be it for the crow. That might be it for the crow, but it looks like he knows how to play, and Goku knows how to overdo it. And he's gonna do it! Oh, the command! Oh, he ate it! Are you serious, the crow? <sighs> and he just hit a diamond cutter. The crow cutter. And Goku kicks out my ass, dude. Oh, he hit the steps! Bryce Payne just hit the steps! Violent J just used the steps on the champion and he still has so much wit about him. Are you kidding me? These guys, the referee, Japanese referee, they should have three referees in here. Oh, but he's right there to watch Goku get eliminated. What's gonna go on now that Vegeta... Oh no, damn, dude. The crow has to be careful. Oh, they're beating the dog. Shh, Jesus. Someone has to help, but they can't. It's a no disqualification match. Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee. Oh, the referee has to get out there. Oh, K Smoke can't get to him. Violent J. A competitor. That's crazy. Violent J using the steps. Violent J, the homie, using the steps to hold. He didn't even care that K-Smoke was beating the life out of him. Thank God that the Japanese referee saw that the shoulders of Bryce Payne were still down. Like, good job by the referee, bro. <gasps> He's trying his hardest. There's so many people, but he's looking right at K-Smoke, waiting for him to tap. Violent J, Shaggy 2, though, working their magic right now. Will it be? Oh, no. It looks like Vegeta on the outside is putting in a lot of work on Bruce Lee. And Bruce Lee, of course. Oh, oh comboing back. Bruce Lee comboing back. Will it be enough? The Japanese referee trying to get out to get the count. I see, I told you, I'm a rapper, man. A oh, wow, the, the Z Fighters are out. The Z Fighters are out. I can't believe this. The Crow and Bruce Lee both going up top, and only Bruce finding his mark. And it looks like Shaggy was going to go for a finisher there, but it looks like no way, Jose. The homies out here going chicken hunting, and they it looks like Violent J's taking a bite out of Bruce Lee's forehead. They're both wrecking these two guys right now. Oh, they're really about to do the same move. Oh, oh that was awesome. Oh my god, that was awesome! That was awesome! Violent J and Shaggy 2 Dome, super coordinated. Now guys, again, this is all AI controlled. So they did that all on their own. That was amazing. Oh, an amazing chance of things that Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee, 
Shaggy 2 though. Violin Jet battling it out right here in the solo season universe. You guys, hit that three punch combo, man. That's how you stay seasoned. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell. That's a four punch combo. Comment. That's a five punch combo. J Solo's email at Gmail. That's a five, six, seven punch combo. So we can. Oh, dude, Shaggy and Violent J trusting each other. But it looks like he's going to come to his partner's aid. These guys are doing really good. But oh, he's going to do the same thing. Oh, but the Crow doesn't have the same kind of durability, it looks like. It looks like the Crow doesn't have the same kind of durability that Violent J had using those steps to pin the Solo Season Universal Champion Bryce Payne. And he's laughing at Shaggy Tudo. He's laughing at Shaggy Tudo and then goes for a sunset power bomb. No wonder he laughed at him. Oh my god. And he's not done yet. Why is he not done yet? He should have just finished it with the sunset power bomb. I think he got greedy and now he gave Shaggy one last chance to throw everything he has at him. The Japanese referee trying his stuff. Did you fucking see the crow jump on top of Violent J? He knew that he had to do something drastic to get him to break up that pin. And he did just that. And it looks like, are you serious? Shaggy knows that the ankle lock is key here. And it looks like, doesn't matter. Oh, no, dude. Did he just do a DDT that flipped over? I can't get a good look on it. Come on, get up, get up. A competitor. No, Violent J is now all alone. But he's signaling to the homies that he's never alone. When you're a juggalo, you're never alone. Oh, Bruce Lee making the save. I can't even see him over there. <laughs> what are these guys going to do? They're definitely going to do some good double teams, but it looks like, oh, no. Oh, he's going to, that's a pin, ref. Get that pin. No, he's on his stomach. He's got to have the shoulders down. That's funny. Oh, no. Here, here it is, man. The beginning of the end, I think. Unless he can, oh, he did. He tried to do it, but no. He couldn't finish it. He does the smart thing and tries to roll out, create some distance. I can't believe how smart Violent J is as a ring practitioner. Oh, but the same DDT that put away Shaggy is going to put away Violent J. A competitor has been eliminated. That's crazy, dog. That is funny. Making his way to the ring. From Pangea, weighing in at 225 That's right. Pangea. Pound, the Scorpion. Pangea. The original continent. The original man. Sensei song. Coming here. This is right now. Someone from the red line playing. Weighing in at 188 pounds. Kyle Wildman. Word. That's it, Wild Kyle coming to the ring with that patented energy, that patented street talk, that rough and tough attitude. He's got a pack of Marlboros in his pocket. He's got a lighter, and he's not sharing either one of them. Only thing he's asking you to share is your life. Weighing in at 200 pounds. Look at that Tony custom jacket. That jacket is just, that's one of the first things I created for him. And that stomach tattoo, of course. Ooh, Planet Tone. From Tacoma, that's Washington, what I'm talking about. Weighing in at 255 Now, of course, pounds, my character. Jay the Savage. That's the old version of him right there. The Falcon. Oh, sometimes you just got to go back into the past and remember he's having flashbacks. Uh-oh. He's having flashbacks of his former self. The Falcon. The Falcon having flashbacks of his former self. We've never seen him do springboards or anything like that in such a long time. When's the last time we seen Jay Savage go off the top rope? It's not a big thing he does. When he does, he always fails. Just like his alter ego. 
the Falcon, but right now this is not the Falcon. This is the Chase Savage. We all know and love the previous Solo Season Universal Champion. Woo, getting those fireworks. Getting those fireworks. Mm, mm, mm. Gotta love it. Vintage. Chase Savage. A rich history. You'll see the signs out there. Thank you. Come again. Those are the Sensei signs. You always got to watch out for the Discord little tidbits of love that the Solo Season View show. That's how you know how many fans you got. You'll hear the crowd roaring for you. Crazy amounts of effort goes into this. Love you guys to death. Woo! Everyone's starting off pretty frisky. It looks like that classic bulldog from Sensei Sun. Oh, Jay Savage and Wild Kyle. And it looks like Jay Savage working the legs early. Now, a rich history. Yeah, it looks like a fan right there knows exactly what's going on. The champion bringing it out to the corner. Oh, I don't think he's ready for that. Oh, he's taking shots to the gut, but still has the machismo to point at a fan. Can you believe it? He does. He has a plan. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, man. Jay Savage. What is he doing? Oh, just throwing all wild Kyle all over the ring right now. And it looks like Planet Tom decided to keep his jacket on. Ah, as he stomps out Sensei Song's chest. What is he doing? This isn't a submission match? Oh, okay, okay. So it looks like there is a pinfall. It's just a fatal four-way anyway. Huh. See, I'm telling you, sometimes, guys, I don't make all these matches. It's all surprising to me, too. I thought this was just going to be a submission match. But it looks like the game changed it on me. I, uh, I just, that's exactly why I love it. The drama's real, you know? Uh, in our earlier episodes, you see a oh a chest slap from Solo. Oh, talk about finishing the job with a big kick. It looks like maybe he is going back to some of his old ways there, some of those old high flying ways. He definitely is. He definitely is. those weird little tidbits you've seen it the springboard the flames oh the Japanese referee going for that uh, free count <coughs> even though I highly doubt he could actually see the shoulders of wild pal Jay Savage maybe uh, taking his chance here to go after a new opponent and he does Ooh, and he chooses sensei son maybe not a smart thing to do Definitely not a smart thing to do. Hey, hey, Tony Tear doing exactly what he does best. And that's tear things up. I told you he can do everything. He can kick. He can punch. Oh, but he just got stomped out right after a superplex. But he's right there waiting with the jawbreaker. Oh, man. Tony Tear definitely looking like he's getting the best of everyone he comes across this match. Oh, there's the first submission of the night. The submission specialist is Sensei Song, but it looks like Wild Kyle getting out of the way. Can Jay Savage get away from this elbow drop? He can't. That's going to be a three count. And he kicks out. Okay, so it is an elimination match, though, because you can tell by the way that no one was caring that Tone was going for a pin. So this is an elimination, but... So that's decent. At least everyone still has a chance to survive and not lose a life just because one person gets pissed. Everyone here that loses a life tonight at least lost their life because they got pinned. And it looks like, is that the, oh, a nice setup. A nice setup for what I thought was the ankle lock. And it is the second submission of the night. The second submission of the night. Tony Terror looking like he has just enough stamina to turn over and get out of that. Ah. Oh! <coughs> 
even the referee couldn't believe how serious that was. Oh, how does Jay Savage kick out of such serious moves? And there it is, Tony Terry doing that crazy, crazy time. How does he not get dizzy? Oh, but he did, he did get dizzy. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He did get dizzy. Tony going for a gut punch, but maybe taunting too much. What a crazy turn of events. What a crazy, and it looks like Sensei Sun's out there headbutting. And another Bulldog, ooh, but this one's on the outside, so it does twice as much damage. And it looks like Wild Kyle still has his wits about him. Oh, is that Jay Savage taking flight? Oh, he's definitely getting back to his old roots. You can definitely see that. Jumping off of the, uh, man, he's getting good. Oh, and he's biting. Oh, my God, no. Oh, that's the ankle lock. Ankle lock, center of the universe. Toad is literally center of the universe. He can't. He can't. He can't give up right now. He does it. He doesn't give up. He just passes out. Oh my God, Tone doesn't tap. He just passes out from the pain. Tone doesn't tap. He just passes out from the pain. And he goes for another ankle lock. Oh my God. No way, did he get out? He did. Wow, Kyle. Oh, I thought it was a victim. I thought he was going to tap out two people at once, but it looks like, oh, no, but it looks like some double teams going, oh, no, turns as soon as, soon as he gets a chance to attack. Oh, they're going back to back with the chest slap. See, I'm a rapper going to the Bronx. You guys got to look it up. Grimo Cypher, man. Hashtag Grimo Cypher. You'll see it out there. So much good stuff. And see, that's the good thing, guys. If you just post. Hashtag the drama's real and then click on your own hashtag. Guess what? You'll see the flood of information that we put out there. Hashtag the solo seasons. Post it. I'll see you out there. Okay? You'll see everybody else who's sharing and posting. The community's getting pretty good. Make sure you check it out. That's why the three punch combo is so important. All this interaction is what we like to call the RPG style character progression. You don't need to go out and do a bunch of mini missions like fucking Grand Theft Auto or Skyrim or anything like that. You are who you are, role play, right? So if we play a little, if you, oh no, Jay Savage going for that. Oh, why would you break it up, bro? Wow, Kyle playing a little dirty right there. Maybe, uh, oh, ho, 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 caught him out the air. Oh, but Jay Savage taking on two characters at once right now, showing his championship caliber skill mm, and putting some distance between him and the uh, wild man, wild cop. One, two, note the steps. Not doing enough damage to Sensei Son to put him away. And it looks like he's not doing another ankle lock. Oh my God, dude, he's destroying wild. Oh, he's gonna lay down on this one. Oh my God. Is tap, no, he's not tapping? No, what is going on here? Wild Kyle putting up more than, <gasps> I think he let it go just because he saw that Sensei Song was coming. And maybe that these guys are working together. They are. They're kind of, Oh, that's a brain buster. That's it. He's too tired. Oh, no, Sensei Song. Come on. No more. No more. Just pin him. No. Oh, I thought he was going to go after him. After that brain buster, how does he have anything left? Oh, he doesn't. Sensei Song returning the favor with his own single leg trip. Close line. Close line. Clothesline! There's so many clotheslines that it forces Jay Savage into a corner right now. Wild Kyle and Sensei Sun racing. Oh my god, they're stomping him out. They're stomping him out. This is getting ugly fast. Oh, Jay Savage still making sure. Oh, look how tired Jay Savage is. You can tell by how 
little those kicks have in them. One, two. Oh, I can, I can see him getting kicked out by just exhaustion. Center of the universe, sitting up. Will he have enough? Will the season few give him what he needs? And it looks like he did. Oh, and a slap, and he <laughs> What a combination. And he locks on the Falcon Claw. Very reminiscent of the old J7. The old Monica. Man, these guys are fighting it out right now. And it looks like he hit the steps. Jay Savage is done. Jay Savage is done. Oh, that was insane. Sente Sun went for the sunset kick. Oh my God, yo, Sente Sun went for the sunset kick. And while Kyle caught him mid-air with the Hurricanrana, the master of the Hurricanrana, puts him down with a patent. Trademark reversal. Ooh, speaking of reversals, is it gonna end right here in front of the announcer table? Oh, it might. This is like the fourth ankle lock he's put on. Wild Kyle tonight. There's no way he's gonna tap. He no, he did. He did tap. He did tap. Jay Savage is the winner. Yo, he is a threat now. You hear me? Always has been, always will be. My man Jay Savage, the submission god. He came through with some serious showing of skill right there. Did you see that, Broski? He had my man Wild Kyle all kinds of torn up. He laid on like seven different kind of ankle locks on my man. He had it standing up. He had to lay back on it. He did the scissor sweep. He did, oh man, he did everything he could. Speaking of ankle locks, there it is. That's that one, man. He tried to get Tony out of there. Tone had him, bro. Tone had him. Damn, there was so much drama going on. Tony throwing back and forth. Like, I wanted to make some funny jokes, but nothing was funny about this. Nothing. Look at him putting the pressure on that ankle lock. Here is boy. your that winner, was Jay. That was so feisty. That was spicy. Man, thank you, everyone. Again, thank you so much. Who, Everyone who made it to the final episode, or to the final, final episode, the final match of tonight's episode. Again, we do episodes every single day. Uh, sometimes we do little skits in the middle to tell the great storylines that we have going. And of course, right now you hear the trumpets, almost like the Imperial March of my man Jay Savage. That's my character right there. And again, he's not higher rated than anybody else. I just love to be a submission specialist like Kurt Angle is my favorite character. So obviously the ankle lock is everything. Um, Bryce Payne, obviously Undertaker is his favorite character. And you can see that in a previous episode. Uh, he said he wanted to change his character in the comment section. So guess what? RPG style character progression. That's the role playing that I'm talking about there. He said he wanted it to happen and it made an awesome storyline for me. He got to make a deal with the devil and the dead man. Great storyline. Max Maximus wanting to change his outfit, wanting to be the ladies man. Throwing Ducky into an electrical socket. Ducky wanting to change his outfit. Now he's absolutely juiced. Literally juiced. He's like a super villain. But will that play out in his favor? Or will he end up under the control and losing the belt? And like, what will happen now that he's going to be on this weird rampage? In all honesty, he beat the hell out of Max. He said he was going to put pressure on his throat, and he did exactly that. The solo season ladies champion, Reeves, doing a decent job tonight with a great comeback. Instead of jumping high, goes low. And of course, me. Good old me, Jay Savage. Locking on those ankle locks, baby. And you can see it wasn't like one and done. Had to really work them. Had to really make them tap. Just like everybody else. Hit that three punch combo. Like, share, subscribe. Four punch combo. Turn the notifications on so you never miss a moment. Five punch combo. Hit me up on Facebook, which is solo underscore season. You guys know what I'm about to say, right? And I want you to say it with me. Put your hand up in the air. Sprinkle it down like salt, babe, and tell them to stay seasoned.